Right, I really need to try and give this a proper go. Poor Pyrogenitus. Poor Pyrogenitus? Again, I don't have a very good Greek accent, I'm very sorry, but that literally translates to born into the purple or born in the purple, which is what happens if your father is emperor and then you're born after they become emperor within the Byzantine Empire. So Basil, or good old Oregano here, he must have been literally born after his father had become emperor. I don't know if that's true. That's just speculation, but I was doing some Googling. I also like to imagine that, I mean, he looks pretty epic and hardcore, but imagine underneath his crown, just a massive bold spot. That would make me really happy if that were true. Ah, oh, it really would. Yeah, I'm really sorry, Sweden, but you've got 86 military strength, and I know you're giving me 80 gold per turn, but quite frankly, it's not enough and I can declare a holy war on you, because I am one holy person. Look at this. There's the apostle. It's just been staring me in the face. I just, I need to get rid of that. Oh, that's a bit better. And this city is massively, massively skewed. It really wants to follow that religion. That's, um, you have to deal with that. Especially because, unfortunately, my, my missionary purchasing power is ages away. Oh, it's going to take ages for these guys to get down. It's Greece. Oh my god, Greece are having an absolutely amazing game. And Catholicism is their religion. How widespread is Catholicism? Let's have a look. Ten cities. Oh god, 257 science. They're amazing. Actually, three techs ahead of me. Okay, fair play, Greece. Fair play. Unfortunately for you, I am five capitals captured. And I have converted a lot of people. A lot of people. And um, I think you're next. Meanwhile, in Sumeria, it's still being plundered. Haha! -ha. I mean, literally, my entire empire could just get rich off plundering Sumeria. There's so much stuff here, it's nonsensical. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Is that literally just one attack to take the city? Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. That was, that was pretty easy. <laughs> okay, doing lots of pillaging. Oh, Scotland, don't stick walls up. Honestly, I've literally, I literally had just, just started attacking you. Oh, so I think that's rude. If anything, I think that's actually quite rude. Never mind. Oh, look, a Cree city. Oh, how kind of you. I'm just sort of popping up here. Uh, what I need to do is just keep an eye out for units, like this sort of thing. That would be... A lovely little discovery here. If uh, just ironclad you. Yeah, look at that. Okay, now we can start spreading my religion just from, from scratch. You know how I was saving up all of that gold? <laughs> here come the bombers. Oh, yeah. You didn't think I'd need them. It's only, <laughs> it's only 1060. 1060. <laughs> the Battle of Hastings is yet to happen. England is yet to be invaded by the Normans. That's how early we are. Oh, it's nuts. This is my, it is just my favorite thing. An arena. Look at that. Three Kirasa just pops out as if from nowhere. Just kill, kill and pillage, kill and pillage. Delightful. Taruga, plus 5% science in all cities reach different improved strategic resource you have. Wow, that's actually quite good. Might keep that one. I mean, I've got to steal it from Pericles first, which is no mean feat, but you know, you just, I'm just keeping an eye out for the best of city states. I'm, I can be, I can afford to be really picky here. Looking at you, Buenos Aires. Looking at you. So remember, whilst we can see a lot of cities here, most important thing we can do is shoot down enemy units wherever we can spot them. Because yeah, that starts to get our religion everywhere. Ah, this guy actually follows, well, in theory follows my religion. Oh no, apostles have been here. The bastards. Right, I need to get you out. You are, these apostles are just annoying me now. They're everywhere. Pillaging. La 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 la. Look at all of the gold I've got. It's mad. And a bit of extra faith. And even more gold. Mm. Yeah, when I said there was no rush, I really meant it. Because don't forget, all of these improvements will disappear as soon as Sumeria disappears. Because I can't, I can't pick up the ziggurats. This works really well for me. I think that's Scotland out. It is indeed. They will not stand the test of time. We knew that. 
I knew that, you knew that, they knew that. But now it's a certainty. I'm trying to find where all the Cree units are. They're actually all hidden away pretty impressively. Yeah, just everywhere. Everywhere and anywhere. Alright, let's just land the Curasars. Come on. We should be able to find some stuff now. In we go. Actually, Taruga. I mean, I really don't want to go to war with Taruga, but anything to help me spread my religion is tempting. Um, oh, have they done the same thing over here? They have. Just kind of left their unit adjacent and exposed. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Oh, look. Look at that. That was quick. Ah, sod it. Let's do it. Colonial war. Ha ha. We are now at war with everyone except from Greece. That should be, that should be fine, right? No, no one, no one minds. Uh, let's just take our Curacao in. Well, that is the capital. The capital is here. Oh, delightful. Actually, can we just land? There we go. That's a lot, that's a lot safer. Right, in you go. Boom. Okay, let's start to spread our religion over in this direction. Just going around all of my new cities with all of my faith, just buying in 101 monuments. It's actually incredibly satisfying. Uh, most of them do have them, it's the ones I've settled, but every time it's just another two, faith, uh, two culture here, two culture there. It's really good. So I just bought about 20, 24 monuments, just all in one go. <laughs> oh, I love late stage. Late stage games are so much fun. There's a lot of things. Oh no, targeted by an aggressive enemy. Aggressive enemy. Aggressive enemy. Aggressive enemy. Aggressive enemy. Aggressive enemy. Who could this aggressive enemy be? Ah, oh, who knows, eh? Maybe, maybe I could have actually joined all of those. <laughs> that would have been funny. Ah, oh, duh. The biggest thing is that Coupe has a lot of units just everywhere, which is the biggest problem I've got. Um... Yeah, he's kind of like surprised most of my frigates, and even even with the Texas, they're, they're quite strong. They're pretty strong, so I've got to just make sure I don't lose my navy here. I'm pretty sure I think we should be fine, but you know, just in case, I might actually have to fleet you up. Yeah, let's just do that. Another fleet. That sounds good. Getting all the kills we can. Uh, Taruga, we haven't actually made war with just yet. That's that's pretty good. Right, I'm gonna keep this city, which I won't actually keep for very long, four turns, but doesn't matter because we're just using the faith now uh, to buy more units and these Kirasars are just brilliant. Actually, I might start getting some cavalry in as well just to spice things up a little bit. When all else fails, just bomb the place. Much easier that way. All right, Kirasars are now can come in and oh, they're still not doing a huge amount of damage. I do need to actually get my missionaries to, to finish this stuff off. This is weirdly annoying. Just do a bit of cycling in and out on this one. We can just come in and go with bump. That's loads and loads of science. Oh, very good, very good. Actually, this city is pretty much spent now, Eridu. Should we just take that one? I think we might as well. That's that city done. Okay, we're still going, still pillaging, but it's, you know, there's no, no harm in sweeping up as we go along. Do you see that? tanks <laughs> oh yeah and oil oil we can now improve as well which makes a, a big difference we quite like that but as soon as we get tanks oh oh my word it's gonna be so brilliant I might have to save up some gold actually I've been buying planes I even bought myself a fighter a fighter purely because the city-state quest wanted to you know wanted me to get one so fair play I wasn't going to be the one to refuse. Um, let's just quickly chop that one. Oh no, it didn't work. I should have sent a missionary in first. Never mind. There's that one. Let's get this fighter or bomber, sorry, to do that. Followed by this one. Okay. It's pretty comprehensive now, isn't it? I think we're just going to come in and charge. I think that's Mongolia out. Yes, it is. Lovely. They don't stand the test of time either. Who does? That's the question. Ha! <laughs> Bombard on caravel action. Nice. Oh, it's starting to spread the religion now. Okay, pillage road. I don't know why I pillage the road. I thought that was a mine, but I'd already done that one. Okay, it's a little bit more damage. Actually, I could do with killing that quadrireme. Uh, is there an easy way of doing that? Probably not. It's just sort of running around tickling me. Even more pillaging. Don't forget the faith pillaging. That is as important as the rest of it, because faith giving you a huge amount of stuff. Okay, I 
think. Yeah, that'll work for now. Lovely, 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 lovely. Oh, bless them. They're so weak. Oh. I mean, no wonder they weren't a very good military ally. Put it that way. They were just absolutely terrible. Time to bring in some battleships, I think. That's definitely, definitely on my on my radar. Um, hang on, if I, can I just get this to just steam in and kill? Yes, I can. Oh, lovely. Religion's really starting to spread now. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. Oh, in fact, this actually couldn't be better for me. So, if I move you to here uh, and do that attack, I need to be able to get the kill with a unit, otherwise it doesn't spread the religion well. So that's fine for now. Let's just bring in the Curasar, give you even more upgrades. Everything is lovely and upgraded as it is anyway, but we'll just keep on moving our stuff around. In you come. What can we find? Who can we find to kill? The Kree have still got 393 units left, and the Maori 444. So there's definitely still stuff to kill. Is it appropriate to be using bombers to bomb embarked units? Yes. Yes it is, absolutely. Interesting though, bombers, if you kill people with bombers, they don't spread the religion. Which kind of makes it a bit pointless. There you go, fact. I quite like this little thing. Look at that, it's like a horse in di like industry horse island? Horse industrial island? Quite nice, whatever it is. Can we get the kill on Sumeria now? I think that's a yes. Well, bump. What treachery did this to me? Me. I think, like, that's pretty clear. No? No? I swear that was pretty clear. <laughs> Never mind. But, most importantly, 642. Gold and a tank upgrade is 155. So we have to pick the ones we're going to upgrade carefully. Very carefully. Just to make sure that we, you know, we, we, we do, do the best that we can do. Um... Okay, this Curasar is about to die, so you need to retreat fairly rapidly. I'll do a swapsy with you. I mean, this is the, the, the coupe capital, which is kind of makes it a really attractive target for me. Can I start spreading my religion around? No. Oh, it stopped spreading my religion, like, effectively. I think it is doing it, it's just not showing the graphic for it, but maybe, so maybe the bombers were actually effective. I just assumed they weren't because I didn't see the graphic, but actually looking at this, they could well have been. Um, get that pillage and then move in, and then we'll get you to attack. I don't know why you did that long-winded movement, but sure. Okay, look, there we go. Now it's spreading it again. Good, good, good. And a catapult. Oh, come on, guys. Stop it. Also, by the way, I can now just summon tanks in. So, you know, that's cool. I'm not actually sure what's going to help my victory quickest. Whether getting... Uh, aircraft carriers is pretty good, whether I should go towards jet bombers or modern armour. It's all down this end of the tree anyway, so let's go for modern or combined arms first. And then I think I'll go for modern armour, just because that is the heavy cavalry option. We may as well just stay with what we're good at. We're teching pretty quick now. The plundering we're doing is super effective. So yeah, we've now already overtaken Greece. We were three techs behind them, now we're ahead. Domination, we're doing pretty good. It's going to turn into a domination sort of game. The only f there's five religions left. This is the problem. I need to convert this city. If I can convert this city, which is proving really tricky because they haven't got enough units in this area to, to let me do that. But if I can convert that city, that's going to be taxes plus 12, which is a huge change. So that's kind of what I'm trying to push towards. Um, which is the Cree holy city? Where is uh, the Cree? Mistay. It's this one. Uh, nope. No, it's this one. This is the Holy City. Alright, so killing killing units in and around this area is, is my priority here. Cool. I love it. Arena, 600 gold. Oh, I could just get a tank in now. I'm going to upgrade the ones I've got, but it would just be like a three tank immediately. I love it. In fact, actually, these guys, I am going to get. I am going to give these guys the tank promotion. Because, quite frankly, they're really, really close to just jumping in on people from the other direction. A little bit of faith. A little bit of attacking. Oh, one of them just started. So we're starting to spread. Slowly but surely our religion is now hitting quite nicely. In fact, actually, this would be a fantastic little staging post. So let's just quickly um, get a little bit of science from the industrial zone. Lovely. Oh, lovely, 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 lovely. Um, is that pillaging health? Really? What is that? 
Oh, that's their special building, isn't it? Uh, yes. You know, again, Bakree, not someone I've ever really played with. I, I have so little knowledge about how to play with the Kree. And... Surprise tank! Ha ha! No one suspects the surprise tank. No one ever does. But unfortunately, they're multiplying. By the way, they might be crabs. 69 cities. Nice. It is crazy how amazing teeth is, though. I mean, look at that. 207 gold coming in per turn. That's one healthy set of dentures. I am always aware, by the way, that, like... That particular thing has become such an in-joke. People who discover the channel, the amount of comments that people give me like, uh, Ryan, you don't know how to say tithe? Like, it is an in-joke, honestly. It's not something that I can um, not pronounce. Absolutely not. Genuinely, you know, I'm in control. I could pronounce it if I needed to. Cough. I definitely don't get that wrong accidentally. <laughs> Still. Oh, dear. Come on, convert the city. Oh no, come on, come on, come on. You must be doing it, you must be close. Oh, I like it when the proper Vengabus line of military engineers starts. It's Railway Simulator in its finest, most complete form. Look at this. Da -da 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 oh yeah, we're getting so far across my empire now. Oh, delightful, delightful. Look, I'm even... I'm doing so, I'm so lovely. I'm spreading the word of crabs even to the conquered cities I've got. I am, I am min-maxing this playthrough. I tell you, I, I am not leaving anything on the table here. If I, if I pick up a, like, a sort of turn 200 domination victory, it's because I think that's as fast as I could have gone. Like, I really haven't left much on the table at all. Still converting, but manually this time, which is quite good. Uh... Tank can't reach, but the Curasar can, so in you come. We've got a fighter not really doing much, so we'll just do a little hit on the wall. That should kill the Apostle, which should in turn spread the religion further. Hasn't quite done it, though, but it doesn't mean it can't later. Uh, the Curasar, I, I want to just avoid getting too close to the old shoreline, just in case there is something there that will hit me later. But yeah, look, my, my, we are pushing now. Come on, stay alive. Stay alive, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. Come on, I need to just actually hit and kill as many things as I can. I've got a bomber over here now. I've got the tank on the way. In fact, I've got multiple tanks on the way. Come on, we can take over this holy site. We are still condemning heretics. Come on. Not doing enough. It's not spreading the religion fast enough. Come on. Yes, that'll do. That's lovely. Okay, right. Um, curious as do we want to... I mean, again, we don't have an opening just yet. Just trying to think of the best thing that we can do. I go for more faith. Faith is good. Oh, there is a unit. Oh, damn. Didn't spot the unit until it was too late. Never mind. There's combined arms. It means we've got some aircraft carriers should we need them. I'm declaring war now on Greece. Territorial expansion. Just because now all the remaining four people are at war with me. But I've got a load of like potential kills around here now. So uh, you can see they've actually got units that are hovering in the area, which is very very useful that was one step too far i didn't mean to move quite that far but look I'm starting to spread it now this is good let's try bombing this guy see if it makes a difference no i'm pretty sure the bombers don't make a difference at all never mind okay i've got a tank in play though that should make things a little easier come on start killing these oh, 98 come on helsingberg this is the holy site for sweden this is the one that needs a turn in. Okay, we don't have any influence for this one just yet, but you know what? I've got a tank that can quickly come and sort that one out, I think. Oh, they're doing it again. They're just leaving their units in random places. Candy has just been converted. We've got this crossbow, which should... Oh, no, it doesn't quite convert anybody, but uh, there's another unit just sat in the middle of the sea, as you do. Why would you do that? Permagon is now converted. Have you seen, it, it, it's amazing, once once you start to get a bit of a chain going, how quickly everybody starts to fall. Like, it's absolutely mad. Oh, we just met someone else, Laventa. Aww, it's nice to meet you, it's a little late in the game, but but sure, hello. I think I could win the Nobel Peace Prize, 100%. I'm, I'm that sort of just genuine guy. And we've got loads of city-states. Should we go for cultural city-states? We've got, we have trade routes in that regard. 
Let's have a look and see if that goes through. Yeah, peace price has gone through. Wonderful. And what else has gone through? Scientific and yay, culture bombs for me. It's amazing how often the computer just doesn't doesn't bother with it. Oh, oh, they're leaving. They're really starting to leave things out in the open now, which is brilliant. That city's just converted. Um, there's a little unit I can shoot there. Oh, how close are we? That's pretty close. It's their holy site. Is the thing. It is the thing. But we should be able to convert that pretty soon. But look at this. This city is now absolutely open for conquest. So if I just move my units in. Uh, in fact, I should just get the attack in. I'm forming a tank army. Because quite frankly, why wouldn't you? Uh, I've got enough gold just to form another one here. Oh, that's lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. There's just so much stuff to pillage and have fun with. Yeah, we're going to take the city over the brute force way. So we are pushing in. That is a holy site. So our missionaries are kind of already in and around the area. We'll start spreading that good, good stuff over. Lovely. In fact, actually, I've got some inquisitors over here that are doing a magnificent job, but really they could be coming over. Oh yeah, that plus 12 bonus, I can almost smell it. I have about 20 of these Hippodrome districts being built at the moment because every time it generates a tank, which is really, really cool, it's totally maintenance free, like both in gold and in oil. So they're just, it's like, why wouldn't you have them? They're brilliant. Oh, look at the railway go as well. We're almost all the way down to Mongolia now. Can I just say, I absolutely love how the AI works with the Maori. Just especially on these archipelago maps. That's their capital, it's all the way down here, but like, they settled over here, they appear to have settled over in this direction, over here, over here. Like, they just don't give a shit. Wherever they can find, they'll just go and like, oh, I love that attitude. And like the ability that they can just make the loyalty work as well. Like if I tried to do that, it would just be, it'd be absolutely ridiculous. Oh. I mean, I do, I do appreciate that. Right, the crabs, crabs are spreading, but we're still finding it tough to take the walls of this holy city down. I think actually I might just, oh yeah. Oh yeah, right, we might just force that one through. I'm just thinking of whether or not I was gonna do more pillaging, but I think actually forcing it through and converting the holy city is going to be the better long-term option for me. Um, is there actually any more to pillage? No, we've actually taken all the science out of this city than we can. In fact, most of this is pillaged now. So let's just quickly... Is that a lake tile? Are you actually on a lake? You are on a lake. Oh, you idiot. What are you doing there? Ugh, anyway. Oh, what? Oh, come on. That was so clearly, clearly enough to take the city. Go on. Now this one. Bang. Okay, so that is the holy city. Let's just quickly get the Inquisitor in and pop pomp and like so we've converted the holy city and we now have a glorious plus 12 combat strength oh yeah lots and lots of pillaging pillaging everywhere okay this city is now totally surrounded so we can go ka-chunk and then ka-chunk like that okay good we're getting there we're getting there rebellion in lots and lots of turns so that's not it's not very good but We'll get around that. Oh, can I get destroyers now? I think I can. Ah, uh, yes I can. Oh, pillaging. Lots and lots of pillaging. Dum, 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 da, da, dum. Oh, so satisfying. Oh, just got all of the science coming in now. Well, as soon as we get modern armor, that is a huge upgrade for us. And actually, thinking about it as well, ideology gives us some amazing bonuses. I like the Holy Site bonus, but I probably could use the, where is it, five-year plan over that. So colonial taxes, campus, industrial zone, extra builders. Can't be asked to build more builders, I'll be honest. So let's go for commercial and harbour. It should, in theory, if I do that, yeah, if I should, in theory, bring my gold up a little bit further. Not too much, but a little bit. Yeah, another 50 gold per turn. Nice. And we, we're going to go fascist because quite frankly there's no other option really composites yeah we've got modern armor now anything else we need should we get stealth let's get stealth bombers quite frankly why not um oh yeah okay this holy site is going to go down pretty quickly hang on if i just get the frigate in as well to attack just like so okay and then this tank 
What were you up to? Just pillaging more culture, as you do. Very nice. Oh, bang! That almost takes it in one go. Nice. Oh, it's another holy city gone. I didn't even do anything on that one. It just did it itself. Great. Well, there you go. <laughs> it's just, it just solves the problem for me. Hang on, if I just do a lovely quaplunk like this one. That's the holy city taken. It is now mine. I'm just going to get the tank over here to deal with this apostle. Cheeky apostle. And in comes the Inquisitor, or maybe two, just to completely rid ourselves of that religion. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have what can only be described as a plus 15 taxes bonus. So, that's five of them done. I believe, uh, so Desi is now do, oh uh, yeah, conquered. <laughs> Holy City conquered, I like that. Uh, Nosos is still to be done as is I think the Kree I've already done now which one haven't I done Sweden I've done uh, I just haven't converted Sweden's okay so it's just Greece now have I not converted Sweden no I haven't converted it yet oh terrible right missionary in you get in you get look at that finished the zoo and I've got a modern armor that's how it works my zoos just, they, they host nothing but tanks <laughs> I love it I love it so much, especially because I believe the tank upgrade, 820 got, oh wow, that's a lot. Really? Oh, it's because the card isn't in there. Hang on. Um, Merchant Confederation. Let's give myself Raj? Or do we go for, no, there's no, we don't have any allies. There's no point in that. Um, uh, I mean, they're all rubbish. Let's go for Raj. It just gives me a little bit of something. Right, let's try this again, because I don't think you were that expensive an upgrade. 410. Yeah. That'll do. Right, pillaging. Lots and lots of pillaging. Um, I hadn't converted this city just yet, so we'll just continue to pillage it as best we can, just to soften it up a little bit, and then bang, bang, Stockholm is mine once more. So we just did another thousand, well, 500 gold and 500 thieves worth of raiding. I think this city should just be falling now. Oh, no. I just did that in the wrong order, didn't I? Let's see if I can bring this tank in and just fix the problem I've created. Bonk. Yes, I can. Delightful. All right, that's pretty easy because now I can just get rid of the religion. Look at this. We're cleaning the world of this horrible religion and introducing people to the concept that they may be crabs. You know, no one's entirely sure. And until we are sure, we need to be really careful about the assumptions we make. That's a lesson in life, that. Um, oh, why is this tank not able to get through? Oh, how annoying. Never mind. Sometimes I like to just charge and kill the unit. Start spreading the religion again. Olympia. Okay, we've got to find the holy site. If I can find the holy site, we'll be, we'll be doing good. How am I doing domination-wise? We are 10 capitals captured. It is just Greece, I believe, that I hold now. Look, has original capital. It's just Greece. There's Athens. Here we go. I think right about now we should probably just continue the push. Just make sure that we are, you know, just just going there a little bit. Although saying that, until I get the religion clean, uh, some of these cities are pretty hard to kill. So maybe, maybe I'm going to have to take it slowly. You never know. I still do love the fact that like I need reinforcements in this area. So let's just go down the faith list and go, oh, modern armor. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Badunk, just immediately prayed into existence. That's how these things work, I think. Ah, oh, Nangansgamu. This is not how you pronounce it, but my favourite city state. It was in the game this whole time. No, oh, How annoying. How annoying. Well, you know what? I'm going to have to declare war with them. Not because I don't love them. I do love them to bits, but I kind of want to kill their units. So, declare war. Lovely. I'm surprised that Greece hasn't got control of them, I'll be honest. But never mind. Um kill that guy yeah look at that it's just the amount of cities that hits it is absolutely worth it let's just take over this city quickly oh yeah look at that the Cree. they are out of the game we are now in a golden era by the way and we still have 26 turns left i told you this game gets ridiculous with uh, byzantium i think it's actually impossible actually physically impossible to not be in a golden age after a certain point Stealth Tech pillaged. Don't know what Stealth Tech was doing in Olympia, but sure. Get rid of this horrible religion. Oh, that's much better. Look at all this. Look at that. Right, what's going on here? Well, Maori have got a pretty decent city. Unfortunately, their walls will disintegrate. They're ancient walls. So they will disintegrate in a single shot. 
Well, bam. Yeah. It's not going to go so well for you, that one, I'm afraid. I think that's as heavy as heavy cavalry gear, isn't it, modern armor? I don't think there's an upgrade above that one. So let's just go for... Uh, it doesn't really matter, does it? Replaceable parts? I think we haven't actually got the food buffs that come with that, and then we'll go for chemistry after that point, because I've got 570 science. Look at that. Look at all those cities. It's nuts, isn't it? Yeah, we've got all that stuff, but we don't actually have any research labs at the moment, so that could get better. Keep on pillaging. Everybody's pillaging. Uh, okay, Sparta's pretty much under control now, but again, these guys have actual steel walls, unlike everybody else. Um, maybe I should get planes in. Should I get some planes or shall I just buy some battleships? I can plunder about 3,000 gold per turn if required, so maybe I should do that. Fascism! Lovely stuff. Okay, this basically means my units are now indestructible. Once that loads in, got that took a little while. Uh, economic Union, good. Colonial taxes, good. I'll put back in five year plan because I do like that one. And then we've got forced modernization, total war. Both of these are pretty good. Third alternative is going to give me a load of gold. And levy on mass will help me to keep my bill down as well. So that I think is a good selection of policies. We've gone from 218 gold to 600 gold per turn. Okay, that's a pretty good selection of stuff. We're still pillaging. Pillaging our, our, our heart's content at the moment. It is glorious stuff. Uh, in fact, actually, if I just bring you through. Okay, I just have to fight through all the great admirals. God, there's a lot of great admirals they've got there. Blimey. Continue to pillage. Oh, it's so much fun. Actually, I can get this tank to come in now. Should I just... I should, probably should have killed that one, shouldn't I? Still got two planes, though. One bomb. Two bombs. And the tank can't quite do it, so let's just go to the campus to pillage that next turn. Um, and then this one. I mean, pillaging a dam doesn't do anything except just create a really expensive repair bill for later, so we'll pillage that and then pillage this. All the stuff. Oh, professional sports. I can get stadiums. That's another load of three units. Woohoo! Ah, Eiffel. Finally. Finally. Okay, I think I am still somewhere building the Venetian Arsenal. Yeah, I'm actually only six turns away from it now. <laughs> oh my god. That's taken forever. I actually, I've, I've done so much war with just basic regular units. I've just never got around to actually building a navy. There's the holy site, by the way. So I've now got a plus 18 taxes which is pretty insane. It's just Greek's capital. Uh, Greece's capital. Should we just drive to it? At this point, there's no point even like waiting around, is there? Come on, let's go on a road trip. Just all the units through. We'll just go to Athens. It's a lovely ride, I hear. A lovely trip. There's a mountain range in the way. It's a bit annoying, isn't there? I'm finding it really difficult to spread my religion through killing people because look, military strength 0, 35, 76, and I'm on almost 3,000. Nobody's got any units anymore. It's very, very boring. Like, how am I supposed to kill you if you don't give me units to kill? Very, very awkward. And Athens appears to be actually the most impossible to get to city I think I've ever seen. So that's a little bit annoying. Um, but never mind. Just continue killing all the cities around here. Maybe I can find something fun. Hello, Leventa. You are now my... Oh, what? Come on, how much health are they on? One health. You are kidding me. Go on, get in their tank. Do it. There we go. Better. God, that was annoying. I was like, don't you dare do that. Okay, pillage and then attack like so. That's that one taken. Yep, lovely. Do the same thing here. Pillage and then attack. As I say, that one turn's worth of science that you get just makes it worth it. There's no point in not pillaging, really. Uh, modern armor can come in with an attack like so. You can do the same thing with another attack, which takes that city. That's three in one. Look at that. Yes, I will take all of you. You were all beautiful. And I uh, don't mind if I just buy in a couple of Inquisitors right by all of your cities. I'm not just taking them over and then immediately converting them. I would not be so crass. One more city bites the dust. Look at that. Lovely stuff. I think, yeah, still after that one, that one capital. So I had, technically, I haven't actually converted any of these people to my religion. Not yet, anyway. Slowly getting there. 
All I need is visibility. If I can just get visibility, yeah, look, like that, now the jet bomber can come into Athens and start flattening it. Brilliant. I've even got myself a good old fashioned, yeah, Jose San Martin. Now, I know he is from Argentina, right? Because I've been told that in the comments. Everybody was getting really annoyed that I did an Argentina playthrough as Eva Pevron, I think it is. Again, my pronunciation of names is terrible, but apparently she she was not the best advocate for a sort of Argentinian history lesson, and he is a much better one, apparently. I know so little about Argentinian history, I couldn't actually tell you if that was true or false, but my god, that opinion has been mentioned quite a few times to me on, on, on YouTube. Oh, it's the random things you pick up on Civ. And Argentinian history, weirdly, is kind of like part of one of those things where I picked up way more knowledge of than I kind of expected I ever would. One more bites the dust. I believe there's only one more Swedish city. Let's just have a look at the loyalty pressure. We'll see. Yeah, there's nothing else here. So only the one city left. God, our, our modern armor are just running through. And most of these, by the way, are free. I'm not even being charged for them. I've only got 253 gold coming out for units and I've got 2,990 military strength. That's a good ratio. I quite enjoy that. I started doing that thing where actually if I were to just make peace with everybody now, I could get an amazing culture victory. Like I've got 200 tourism coming in per turn. Everyone else has got 100 culture at the absolute max. It, it would be a ridiculous victory, but you could do it in theory. I don't have enough golden ages. So I've decided I'm going to get the Taj Mahal because, you know, I mean, I could use more. Well, here we are. We're kind of done now. Um, getting our last few kills, spreading religion to bits and pieces. But here's Athens. Oh, I'd like to show you just something quickly. My favorite thing of the entire game, obviously, is railway uh, creation. And I think I've done an OK job on my home continent. Look, you can see there's Istanbul. We go all the way up to where Canada originally started. I was just making my way and I've just connected up Uruk. Down I go to uh, Mongolia's capital. I'm still building and you can see the line is making their way down into Sweden's territory. I still have a, lot of, a long way to go. It's only turn 183. 183, I'm in 1220 AD. And I've got 56 techs versus 49, 42, 37. We are so far ahead. It is ridiculous. I have... 87 cities in my religion which means I'm getting 270 gold per turn from my religion which is you know not too bad really I'll, I'll take that um, and Gnosis is just here so in theory I actually had time to get myself the last sort of bit of Taxus you can see Taxus has given me plus 18 combat strength at the moment combine that with the plus 5 from fascism I'm on plus 23 it's nuts it's absolutely nuts. I love it. I love it so much. In fact, this modern armor is attacking with 113 strength. This guy, 129 strength. And that's not even a death robot. Imagine how strong the death robots are going to be. Ah, oh, it's absolutely brilliant. Anyway, in we come. Yeah, that was it's the most fun. But my god, the easiest domination deity game we have played in some time. We were so far ahead. Yeah, Augustus Caesar. Screw Rome with the Byzantiums. But oh my goodness, it was amazing. Hang on, if I just have a look at my science. Like you can see, I wasn't even in the lead on science until right at the end of the game. The, the, the normal point of, of, of overlap is about a quarter, sort of three quarters of the way through the game. But 60% of the way through the game, you're doing really well. And we're 80% of the way through the game before we take over. So Greece was having a time of their life. How was I doing culture-wise? Not too bad. Um, units lost, you can see. Yep, there we go. I'm at the bottom, which makes me very happy. I think I lost, that looks like five or six units the entire game. Units killed well and above 150. So that's a pretty good kill to death ratio, if we don't mind that. Our score just goes whoop, about halfway through the game. Um, cities captured. You can see that it wasn't until halfway through the game that we really got going. But look, the snowball just begins after that point. Ah, oh, what a game. What a game. And to be fair, look, we're actually, we're in the point now where we can start spreading our religion. I mean, I was so close to a religious victory as well. Um, Coupe just had a few more cities. I think like there's one city up here. That's the only one they've got now. 
Um, Sweden, it would have taken a couple of turns and I would have knocked them out of the game. So basically, Kupem and uh, Christina were about two turns away from being removed from the game. And Greece, I could easily flip their cities to my religion very, very, very easily. So it's probably only about five turns away from a religious victory as well. And as I say, if I've made peace and gone for a tourism victory, I immediately could have gained myself a tourism victory. It's hilarious how much I'm getting. And I could have just thrown my faith into writers and artists and musicians. I mean, look how purple the map is. Glorious. Anyway, right, I've got some fun stuff coming up, so I'd better get off and start recording that. And until then, I'll see you next time. Goodbye. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton for all of the help you give on Patreon, as well as everybody else who likes and subscribes to the video. Cheers. You help keep me going.